Hello, my name is Enrico and I'll be your instructional chef today. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. Today we have a fun-filled vegetarian platter that we're going to be having a good time making. It's a six-step easy thing to do. Uh, follow along and uh, let's have a blast. As I mentioned, this is an easy vegetarian dish to follow. It's called One Pot Spicy Coconut Curry Stir Fry. And if you come along over here, I'll, I'll introduce you to the ingredients. This is a bell pepper. This is lime. We have some garlic here, some button mushrooms, cilantro, and all these we're gonna chop up. Uh, we have sweet chili sauce, some peanuts, curry powder, some pho concentrate. We have coconut milk we're gonna be using, some ramen noodles that we'll be boiling here shortly, olive oil, black pepper, and Himalayan salt. So what you're gonna wanna do before you start chopping away is you wanna fill a pot halfway and get it up to a nice boil. And while it's working on that, we're gonna start chopping over here. So what we're gonna to wanna to do, first things first, get you a nice little knife. And you always wanna be careful. Whenever you're chopping, it's good to kind of curl your fingers up, not cut like that. You might be missing a fingertip by the end of this meal. Uh, curl them up, just chop this lime in half. Voila, we're good. Next thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna chop this bell pepper. So what you wanna do is you wanna cut the very top off. There you go. Discard it, and this is called corin. So you just take the core out, so you just slice. Be careful. As I mentioned, we don't need any extra ingredients. Let's take that out. Okay, so that's good. We'll discard this one away. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to thinly slice this one. So we're going to slice away. You can already smell the aroma of the bell pepper. These curries are always fun to do. They're very simple and they're full flavored. So we're gonna stack them up, make it easy. Just gonna chop them in half just like that, make them thin. Same thing goes for this one. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we'll put those over to the side. Okay, cut. So next we're gonna be chopping up the mushrooms. So this, basically all I really like to do is just kind of go down, very thin as you can. But we don't wanna get them too thin, we wanna we don't want them to have them disappear into the dish. We want to be able to feel the texture of the mushroom. Awesome. So I like mushrooms, so I'm going to do all of these. And depending on what you like, you don't have to do them all. Oops. But I really, really like mushrooms. So the good thing about this video is if I'm going too fast, you could always rewind. You could watch it later, prepare it for your friends and family. As I mentioned, it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes to prep the, prep the ingredients and then to cook it. It doesn't take too long, probably about 20 minutes. Simple ingredients, easy to find in the store and it's restaurant quality flavor. And I hope your chopping skills are better than mine. But if there's no injuries in the kitchen, then that means it's a successful run. Okay, so all these are thinly sliced. Got those, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and quarter these instead. I know I said a half in the beginning, but we're gonna quarter them. Happy little quarters. Okay, so next we have cilantro over here. So basically I'm just gonna bunch it up and I'm just gonna chop through it. it doesn't have to be neat. We just wanna chop them, that way we get the juices flowing from the leaves and we can cover them more as far as the area of the dish, spread it around, add flavor throughout. 
Okay, good. And that water is starting to boil, so we're making good, perfect timing. Next, we have this package of peanuts here. So what I'm gonna do, you could either take them out, you could either crush them, uh, or chop them, or we can crush them like this. So it might get a little noisy. It's just easier to do it this way. You can get a pan, or you can do it with the end of the knife. Just careful with your eyes. Almost, almost, almost. Okay, I'm not gonna totally make them into powder, but just enough of a, of a crunch. Okay, so our water is starting to boil. Okay. And so we're gonna wanna do, we have this whole package here. We're gonna wanna put three quarters of the ramen in here because we're gonna use some a little bit later. We're gonna put three quarters of the ramen noodles into the pot here. And they'll soften up. There'll be some organization up in here. So the camera's gonna stay set on that. All right, so we're gonna let it cook for about one to two minutes, just kind of stir. And then once we finish with the one to two minutes, we're gonna drain the water from the noodles, and then we'll move on to our next step. Two minutes has gone by, so we're gonna drain the noodles. There we go, that looks good. So we're gonna drain them, and we're gonna run them under cold water for about 30 seconds to give them a little bit of texture. There we go. Good, good, good. Okay, and then while that's draining, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some olive oil in here, just so that the noodles can trap a little bit of the flavor. And we're just gonna toss it around. I don't recommend using your hands in there because the noodles are pretty hot. All that heat's trapped in there. So just give it a toss and it should be good. So we're gonna use this pan again. We're gonna throw some olive oil in there. I like to use a lot of olive oil. Give it that good robust flavor. Go ahead and put it on about medium. And then we're gonna wanna put our bell pepper and our mushrooms in there. Put some salt and a pinch of pepper. So just slide them all in there and I'm excited about these mushrooms. And here they're cooking already. Reminds me of home. So you're gonna wanna cook these for about five to seven minutes. So what I like to do sometimes is just put a timer. I get distracted very easily, so you can always do that too. So we'll put seven minutes, kind of give it a stir, get the olive oil to soak up into the veggies. I put a little bit more too. Excellent. And as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna add some salt and a pinch of pepper. There we go. Start with the pepper first. A couple of dashes here and there, just a pinch. Your pinch might be different from mine, but it's okay as long as you like it. Salt, a little bit more than a pinch. It could be good. And we'll keep it stirring. 
chopping up these, these veggies. I'm gonna sit there for a little bit. Okay, so seven minutes have gone by and we're gonna turn our timer off because those are good reminders. So we're gonna reduce the heat to about medium, a little under medium. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a, one more dash of olive oil, just so it doesn't burn. Keep that flavor in there. We're gonna stir it up a little bit. Then we're gonna add the garlic that we chopped up earlier. And we're gonna cook this with the garlic for about 30 seconds, just until it gets a little fragrant. That way we can smell it. And as that's going, we're gonna smell the garlic already. It smells great. So as that's going, we're gonna grab our chili sauce. Then we're gonna grab the curry powder, as well as the stock concentrate. All right, so 30 seconds have passed, so we're gonna get this in there. This is gonna add the flavor. We're gonna add half of the coconut milk. Don't put all of it in there, because we're gonna add a little bit more to thicken it up once we toss in the noodles. We're gonna put the chili sauce in there as well. Careful not to put your hand directly over the pot, kind of put it to the side, that way when it does steam up, you don't burn yourself. Give it a little bit of a mix. Oh, that smells so good. And we're gonna put half of the curry powder. We don't want to overwhelm it too much, so we don't want to put too, too much. A little bit of salt, some more pepper, add a little pepper. Mix it up a little bit. Loosen it all up, let it flow together, let it soak up all those juices under there. There we go. We'll start flipping it around here shortly. Let's just beat up the noodles. There we go. Thicken it up a little bit. Give it that coconut curry taste. After all, that's what it's named. Coconut curry. All right. So it asks for a quarter teaspoon of sugar. Sweeten it up a little bit. That's about right. And you keep stirring, keep stirring. Okay, so we turn the heat off, move it off the heat, and move it to the side over here. Remember, make sure this plate's hot, so watch yourself. So now, since we moved it off, we're gonna add some lime to it. So squeeze these puppies in there. And we'll get one more. I think these limes have seen better days. These are a little bit tough, but it's okay. All right, so we're just gonna stir a little bit more. All right, good deal, almost done. So next, all we're gonna do is we're gonna get two plates. We're gonna divide half of this plate 
half this pot into one plate and the other half into another plate. We're gonna top it off with some cilantro and some peanuts. My producer is allergic to peanuts, so her dish isn't gonna have any, any peanuts. But uh, yeah, once we come back from commercial break, we're gonna make these plates. So there you have it. One pot spicy coconut curry stir fry. Now for the final verdict. Delicious. As I mentioned, six easy steps. Vegetarian, you could always add some kind of meat if you want to, uh, but easy to do, easy to please. Hope you come back for more. See you soon.